extra nice today? Oh, why, thank you. Yeah. Special occasion or something? Dave, dude, you know there's a holiday coming up this week, right? May the 4th be with you. No. Okay, that's coming up, but I don't celebrate that. This is a tipsy treats video. Alright. So we're going to do a drinking holiday. You can drink on May the 4th. You can. Uh, but what's the other holiday coming up? Seis de Mayo. Uh, close. I got a hint in the uh, microwave. Ah. Hey, look. That's. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, but for each of us. See, I'm not going to make you do this on your own. All right. No, take this hat off. Don't be ridiculous. All right. Okay. All right. We're doing a drink for Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo. And it is not going to be a margarita. Okay. So I don't know if you knew, but the margarita is not the official cocktail for Mexico. Well, I'm not at all surprised. I did not know this, but I am not surprised. And good news, everyone. Our drink does not involve Corona. That's right. <laughs> all right. Today we are making a drink called the Paloma. The Paloma. Yes. All right. So this is a uh, drink in Mexico that is characterized by tequila and grapefruit flavors. Okay. Now they, in Mexico, they use this grapefruit soda that of course we can't get in the United States. Go figure. So uh, if you have it in the U.S., it's going to taste a little bit different than if you have it in Mexico. Okay. And if you have this one, it's going to taste different still, because I'm adding my twist to it, so the way that I think it'll taste good. <laughs> or booze? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, so to start, we're going to rim our glass, and we're going to make this one a little spicy, because it's Mexico. Alright, so I'm putting a little bit of cayenne pepper mixed with some kosher salt. Okay. Oh, can you get me another saucer like this one, please? Let me just mix that up. Complete with sound effects. Yeah. All right. All right. So you get this pretty little pink salt. And then, of course, you have to have the glass edge wet. So we're going to use lime for that. This lime will serve two purposes. It will be used to help with our glass rim. Okay. And then we'll also squirt a little bit in our glasses. Multifunction. Do you want to do that part? I'll do whatever you want. Okay. Which one do you want to do? Rim or juice? Do it. All right. No, dude. Whatever you want to do. You said rim with the lime, so you're right oh, around there, okay, right? Okay, I'll do that. That makes logical sense to me. I'll do that <laughs> part. No, you literally squeeze this into these two glasses. But then how do you get it on the rim then? I'm going to do... Oh, let me do that part first. Okay. See? I wasn't entirely wrong there. <laughs> All right, Dave. This is what I meant. You squeeze half of the line onto your little saucer. Okay. Okay? All right. So then you rim the glass with that. All right. Well, That's this makes right. more sense now. One, two. See, people, I don't know anything about the drinks before we start. In case you were not aware of that prior. No, this is this is real deal. All right, and then I'm going to put some lime juice in here. Try and conserve your lime so that you have enough for two glasses. Unless you're just making one for yourself. In that case, just don't. I hope, I hope you're not quarantined at all. But you might be, and this is a good way to Enjoy your day. All right. Or you can just tell yourself, I'm doing buy one, get one free drinks for myself today. So you make one and you put one in the fridge. All right. Well, that works too. All right. So next, uh, what am I going to put in here? I'm going to put some Cointreau in mine. This is not in a standard recipe. This is in the Shaz recipe. So I'm going to put half an ounce of Cointreau in each glass. This is also going to help. Put some ice in there? Not yet. Thanks Not for yet. asking. So the ice comes later, apparently. 
That's right. I'm not screwing this up. I'm telling you. I know right. it's hard to believe. Then we're doing a little experiment today. One of these is going to get agave, which is like uh, it's like sugar from a cactus kind of deal. Okay. I, I might be making that up. Anyway, it's some sort of sugar. I am skeptical and of I, this answer, but we'll go with it. I do believe it comes from Mexico. And I'm we're gonna skeptical do, of that answer, too. You know what? Be quiet. So, look, I'm going to do like a spoonful in this one. Oh, oh on man, I'm making a mess. Put it on the counter. Look, <laughs> put that one artificial sweetener in the other glass. And basically, we just want to dissolve this. Meanwhile, assistant, can you please go get some ice? Cinco de Mayo, everybody. May you find a corona, but not a coronavirus in your day. 